Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Playtime is our annual global event series for Google Play, and it kicked off last week with some exciting updates to the platform. Take a look at the post to learn about updates to app bundles, the instant app's size limit increase, reducing crash rates and improving quality, and much more. Spinnaker now includes a new Kubernetes provider that allows you to take advantage of the full flexibility of Kubernetes while abstracting away much of the complexity of managing manifests. It also integrates with the Helm package manager to template your manifests and includes initial support for traffic shaping via Istio. Details and screenshots are on the post. Compose actions in Gmail add-ons make it easy for you to add attachments, reference records, or liven up your messages with content from your favorite third-party apps right as you draft your message in Gmail, and they're now generally available. Head on over to the post for some examples and a link to the developer documentation. The Go 1.11 runtime is now available in beta in the App Engine standard environment. For all the details and a video to help you get started, head on over to the post. Okay, so this isn't a new API or anything, but I thought it was just too cool to pass up. The Google Cloud team recently partnered with NASA's Frontier Development Lab's 2018 astrobiology mission to simulate and classify the possible atmospheres of exoplanets in the search for signs of life. For more on what that means, what the teams did, and what's next, take a look at the post linked in the description below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Is the dog in the background? <laughs> Can we be able to see him? Yeah, I can see his shadow.